whether you're just starting out, progressing your career, getting that promotion or even moving companies, at some point you're going to have the self-sabotaging self-doubt that makes you feel that you do not belong in the position that you're holding, nor that you have the capabilities of doing the work that you're doing. This is commonly known as the imposter syndrome. I'd like to let you know that you are not alone. Anyone that is really successful, and specifically engineers, we are somewhat wired to suffer from this syndrome. Whether it be the way that we think, we feel, we act, or the fact that we need to be constantly learning, trying to improve our knowledge, that it makes us realize that there's so much that we do not know. So it gives a self-sabotaging attack on us, thinking is that we do not deserve the positions that we're holding. This is where I want you to use that self-doubt to push yourself to be a better, more successful engineer. Because anyone that has been successful at any point in their career has had that feeling of self-doubt. Instead of shying away from it, they've stepped up to the plate. And the more they try, the more successful they will be. You can help me feel less like an imposter by clicking that like button. Not only does it help the channel out, but it also gets it out to more people. When you have this feeling of self-doubt, this is a good thing because as engineers, there's so much that we need to know. And But it can be quite debilitating at some point where you do not actually try. You do not try and put the answers in. You just go and ask people for questions or solutions instead of actually trying and getting to that answer. And if you try to get to that answer, over time, you will become better. So if you just start out maybe five times out of 10, then you get six times out of 10, seven times out of 10, eight times out of 10. And this is when you've actually tried and you actually got to the answers and realized that, wait a minute, every time I've gone and asked the question, I've got the solution here. They've agreed with my solution. So I've actually come up with the right answer. Whenever we're learning, you've got to realize that everyone has been where you've been. So just say you've got that promotion, you've got that feeling that you do not deserve that promotion. There's so much that you do not know, but what you got to realize is that someone else has looked at you and they have actually said, no, you are deserving of where you're currently sitting. No one is perfect as well. They're not expecting you to get everything right 100% of the time. They're not expecting you to be perfect, especially after you've just got that promotion. At some points, you will get it wrong, but you're there just to try and help them solve some of the problems that they're having. If you can solve their problems, you're really doing what they need you to do. Try and push yourself, get into side positions that you're feeling uncomfortable as no one has really been overly successful sitting where they're comfortable as any of those most successful people, like people like Elon Musk, which is probably one of the most successful engineers that you can think of. Uh, I was actually at dinner with uh, some with a, with a, a friend and, and he was like, well, who's the chief engineer at SpaceX? I'm like, it's me. Even Einstein was wrong some of the time. Right. So uh, question your constraints. This is extremely important. One of the biggest traps for smart engineers is optimizing a thing that shouldn't exist. He has failed more times than he succeeded. And it's the fact that he just learnt from those failures to make sure that he's improving and always being better at what he's doing. So it's not so much the failures that are a problem, but the way you approach it and trying to learn from them. Something you may not know about me is that I am somewhat of an introvert. I didn't like public speaking, especially during university. And I was there really trying to push myself to be better. And when I flipped on its head and realized that Everyone was feeling the same thing. Everyone was feeling that self-doubt or self-consciousness. And the fact that that self-doubt was self-sabotaging, if I can use the power of it to be better, it helped improve my public speaking greatly. But wait a minute, don't you have a YouTube channel? Well, yeah, I do, but this is where I was trying to push myself and look at the good that it's come out of it. I'm imparting the knowledge to you. I'm improving my speaking capabilities. Yes, if you look back at the start, I was really awkward in front of the camera and I'm constantly improving as I'm going and becoming better. Even throughout my career, I've felt somewhat of an imposter to what I'm doing. But the more advice I give out, the better I try and get to those answers. The more I found that I've improved faster over time, I've improved my technical knowledge. I've also come to the point where they're asking me design questions. They're asking me different parts of how things should go together. I'm realizing that my advice has been quite helpful and beneficial to them. You gave me a couple of years ago, I'd be quite shy, quite uncertain, not really trying to give those answers out. And this is probably holding me back where if I was doing what I was doing five years ago, what I'm doing now, I would probably be 10 times ahead of where I currently am at. Even people that may look like they're self-confident, they're actually putting a mask on a facade. It's something that you do not see how they're feeling underneath. And you'll be constantly thinking, oh, well, I'm making these little mistakes here, there, and everywhere. But what you've got to realize is that no one is laser focused on what you're doing. Those little mistakes, most of the time, will go unnoticed. Yes, you're hyper vigilant because you don't want to make those mistakes and you're realizing all the issues that you're having. But most people are self absorbed about the one thing that they're looking at and not really looking at the issues that you're having, but we're more focusing on the issues that they've got. So they've got that facade on, they're looking really polished from the outside. 
However, underneath, they may have that same self-doubt that you're having. Everyone has actually grown up through engineering as they're progressing, talking to those senior engineers, directors, or even higher ups. They've been where you've been. At some point, they've started out as a graduate, junior, senior engineer, associate engineer. They've progressed through their careers, so they know somewhat what you're feeling. They were not perfect when they were at the same position that you're at now. So you do not need to worry that everyone's expecting so much of you. They're also realizing that you're not perfect. Then they're seeing something, the potential that you're not. They've given you that position. They've given you that opportunity. So by flipping it on heads and realizing that it's a good thing. If you're interested in supporting the channel, I've got links to my Patreon in the below description. Like the many Patreons that I've got off to the side here. Without their support, these type of episodes would not be possible. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.